Hello everyone, this is Craft here, and welcome to Planet Coaster! This is exciting! Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, who are maybe a bit newer subscribers to the channel, a while ago, I did a Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Let's Play, and oh my gosh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I mean, that is like Age of Empires 2 and Zoo Tycoon are like, like my childhood games. And so, planet, so I was I was actually earlier this year looking forward to Roller Coaster Tycoon World, and then the reviews said it was kind of terrible, and so I was kind of depressed at that. But now we have Planet Coaster, and from what I've played of it so far, it seems pretty good. Uh, so let's get into this. We will go to the play. Uh, we're going to be doing career mode in this Let's Play. So yeah, here we go. Now there is this Festive Kings coaster thing, but uh, we'll just go in order. So let us start with Captain Lockjaw's Buried Treasures. And the first one is Pirate Battle. Avast me hearties and welcome to Planet Coaster. Shiver those timbers and take charge of this explosive pirate park. Complete ride construction, draw in the crowds, and give your guests a swashbuckling good time. All right, so uh, I think this is fairly similar to how the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 career worked with uh, looks like three different star levels and presumably you need to do new stuff to to uh, different stuff to get each of the levels. It looks like each uh, each like theme has like three different levels for it, or that's how it seems. So. We'll see how quickly we can get through these parks. If we're talking like an episode to get through a park, or maybe a few. Also, if you uh, hadn't noticed, uh, and you're just coming or uh, somewhat regular viewer, I have a new microphone now. I'm now using the uh, Blue Yeti microphone, uh, so tell me what you think in the uh, comments. Uh, is this a good improvement? Are there any tweaks I should be making to like some sound post-production stuff? Um, but yeah, so new microphone, tell me what you think of it. I personally think it has, it seems to be a much a great step up from what I was using before, which is just a uh, Microsoft Life Chats or something headset microphone, which really didn't do my voice justice. And here we are to the pirate battle. Oh. Alright, so what do we have here? Alright, looks like we start with a roller coaster of some kind. The High Seas. And it's open. But aside from that, we also have uh, commotion in the ocean. Okay. That looks like a pretty rocket good uh, ride. Bubbles and stuff too. That's that's sure to be a positive. Uh, we've also got a nice pirate ship. We got this Ford area over here. So that's cool. It just kind of paths throughout. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we've even got a nice little tunnel here. So, yeah. But, uh, let's actually see, uh, where can we find our objectives? Is it under park management? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. That's just a rating. Um. Where can we find this? Okay. Objectives. There we go. Easy. Attract 800 guests. We're already at 682 of that. And build two rides. We have one currently. Really? I'm counting two. And this is a legitimate roller coaster, so uh, maybe 
I guess coasters are don't count as rides. Okay, so let's think about this. Where would we want to expand? So we already have this nice piratey themed area over here. Um, I guess an obvious start place would be just right here, this grassy area. There's just a lot of empty space here we could potentially take advantage of. Uh, let's see what type of rides we have. So, Because I, I think building a second ride is going to obviously be the first thing we want to do. Uh, so we've got... Roctopus, Insanity, Teacups, Venetian Carousel, and the Wild Blue. Oh, we have $6,000. So we could get any of these, I think. Yeah. And we currently have... We already have something that's not all that exciting, not all that fear-inducing, and not all that nauseating. The coaster is quite exciting. Somewhat fear nauseating and not all that nauseating. So we could actually maybe do a middle ground excitement thing. Uh, like the wild blue would give us that. Uh, insanity would give us uh, middle ground as well. So let's take a look at insanity. Okay, so it looks like it's a double swinging arm ride thing. And the question is, where would be the best place to put such a ride? We could put it, like, out here, potentially. Oh, yeah, out at sea. Make it, like, a little thing. Would that ruin the aesthetics, though? I don't know. Uh, it might, unfortunately. Uh... Yeah, then, uh, where would be a reasonable spot to put it? Again, we could just do this green area that already exists. That is, of course, an option. Uh, I think that's what we're going to go with. We'll put it over here so it has its own space and room and stuff. Let, we could make it look interesting. Let's, uh, let's see if we can mess around with the terrain a bit here. Let's put it atop a hill. I think that seems reasonable. Okay. Well, actually, let's get it a bit higher. There we go. Now it's flattened to foundation. Okay, we have a plateau to set it upon now. No, not wild blue. Insanity. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Put it right there. Like so. Our entrance we will put right over here. And then the exits will go right over on this side. Cool. Uh, we'll need to get a queue going. Uh, something piratey. This... We could do the cobble. I think let's go with the cobblestone one. Alright, and then a die. Oops. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay. So one more like this, then we turn like this, and then there we go. Let's go with just a normal... Normal incline. No need to get, break out the stairs just yet. There we go. And, uh, we'll put in a nice little, uh, I guess we'll go for more cobblestones. Oh, that's a nice little dynamic path thing. Also, yeah, I don't really like the look of this red. Let's, uh... I think the cobblestone would, uh, suit this aesthetic much better than just the red path. So, yeah, get out of here, you red path. Let's just waste all our money on paths. Also, let's open this ride. We'll also need to work on some queue decoration for it, I think. I think that would probably be good to work on. 
Because I do think, yeah, we've got a 9% QC to read with rating. I'm not certain exactly what that does, but I presume it's probably pretty good to get it up there. So with regards to some scenery, what type of scenery do we want? I think some uh, trees would be good. So we've got beach trees available to us. Yeah, let's get some trees here. A little beach bush towards like the front of it. So that looks good. Yeah. Then maybe we could even get one right here and kind of hang it off the side. Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't really like that tree. What about this? Ooh, that's a good tree. That is a nice tree. There we go. Okay, now let's, uh... Right, now let's grab this one bush we put up here. We will rotate this. Oops. Misclicked right there, sorry guys. There we go. And we'll just put that in the hill a bit, it's like so nice. Oh! Wow! Broad star already! Nice! Yay! Also, this, uh, we've got a tree like, right here that seems to be, uh, it really should probably be moved slightly. Eh, just deal with the foliage, guys. It'll be great. Also, speaking of foliage, how is our scenery for this round now? 23%. Eh, whatever, it's fine. Um... Now, let's see. What is our new objective? We have a notification. Okay, cool. Objectives. Medium. Track 900 guests, and then build four rides. Okay. Let's, uh, just try to improve this queue just a slight bit more. Uh, let's get some nice, uh, no, not some shapes. I want props, yes. Do we have... Okay, yeah, let's get a Pirate's Lookout going. We will place you... Like... So... There we go. Nice little lookout's going on now. Uh... Oh, a ladder! That could be nice. Yeah. It's also getting quite dark. Okay, let's see about this ladder. Alright, so obviously we do need to tilt it so it's actually in the proper position. Okay. And, uh, we like copy, duplicate. There we go. Let's, uh, let's just shift it over slightly. Get it like so. Okay, cool. So we've merged the ladders now. Now we just take this one down. Uh, we do need to shift it slightly, like so. Does that get us to grad level yet? Not quite, but it's close enough for the guests, I would say. We're at 30% scenery, uh, I think that's all I really want to do for this one at the moment. Let's get moving on to building some more rides now. Also, is there any sort of R&D I think there probably is? 
um, park manager for this. Research. There we go. We should get some research going. Uh, we could get a coaster. Yeah. Let's work on that as well as a gentle spin cycle. Okay. Great. So I have these two rides now. Uh, we should probably get some shops going. Uh, now we could just go custom. I don't really think we have the time for that though, honestly. So let's just go for some blueprint shops. Uh, obviously, we want to get get some higher stuff. Uh, toilets. Do we have toilets? We've got to have toilets somewhere around here. We should be fine with. We should be fine with toilets. Um. What we may want is a food. S oh wow, wow! That is something. Where does this connect? Where does, where does this connect to stuff? Where are the paths? Um, I love this, but where do you go into it at? Okay, obviously not this side. Probably this side, I would say. Oh, is it that thing up in the middle? It's probably that thing. Okay. So if that is how it works, uh, that should be cool. Alright, so let's... Yes! Like so. There we go. Right in the middle of all of these... Uh, of this path. Okay. Now let's go to some paths. Break up the path. Ever so slightly. Okay, now we'll use our path. We'll connect up to... Okay, so we actually have a slightly wider path here. Is it six wide? Is that reasonable? There we go. Then, shall we have it come out on the other side, perhaps? Yeah. Um, it does clip through, like, a lot of decorations, I will say. Which is somewhat problematic. Um. Not quite sure how I feel about that. I mean... So are these open? Probably. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't really like that path there. We could go around it or something. Okay, nice. I like that. That's a good uh, food stall thing. Uh, but we do need more rides. Uh, so let's take a look at some of those. We could get it just a normal old carousel. Uh, I mean, technically it's Venetian, but uh, I don't really care all that much to call it by its proper name. Uh, it really doesn't fit our pirates the at all. Um, we could just shove it in the corner like this. That seems fine. I don't know why we have it raised. Although I don't really feel like moving it, so it's just gonna stay that way. Okay, so we'll just put an entrance like right over there. And we'll have our exit over here. Yeah. Okay, entrance. Uh, we'll just keep going with the kind of cobbly aesthetic we've got going. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a bit of a snake to it. That seems reasonable to me. And then straight to there. Okay, cool. It's all, and it already has 54% decoration. That's that's not bad. That's solid. We 
Okay. We gotta reduce the width slightly going here. There we go. Nice, and we'll just take this around the carousel. Okay, so we do need a path going like so. There we go. And then we can continue off and say that direction if we want, sir. We'll just leave it for now. Okay, nice. So there's our carousel. Nice. Uh, we do need to put in one more ride. Uh, Wild Blue could be decent. It's quite big. Could get the. Uh, okay, everything is quite big. I really wish we were actually doing more with our pirate aesthetic. It's a bit of a waste that we're just kind of. Just kind of building over here. But uh, what, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Oh, uh, we could actually make this ride have a fairly interesting queue, I think. So we put it right here. You also get a great view of this, like, creek or something when you go to it. We'll put it at entrance right here. And we'll actually have the queue go through the woods. And that way, you already got all the scenery bonuses you need. Uh, I... If we have, like, a more natural... Uh, we don't. So oh, well. Okay. Let's see. Alright, Q. Okay, and then we will emerge right over this way, just going right underneath these tracks. Boom. Nice. Okay, and then we will get a nice little exit going. Uh, actually, I don't know what type of path that is that's going on right there. Like, yeah, I don't know what this path is. Uh, have we? We haven't even placed an exit yet. There we go. There we go! Silver Star! That was actually quite easy. Okay, cool. Uh, open up this ride, and we need to then connect this path to the path at large. So we will just come around this nice little restaurant area, and there we go. Okay, things are looking decent. Ah, what a great view of the park. Uh, our carousel is actually somewhat popular, that's nice. Uh, this has reduced in popularity a bit, but it's okay. And I think this ride does actually have, yeah, 100% Q scenery bonus, so that's good. That is quite good. Our food areas are doing okay, I think. Probably. I will presume as such. Uh, notifications, whatever, we're good. Uh, hard. So we need to get to 1,100 guests and acquire $15,000. I believe we are tracked to getting the the money just by kind of waiting. Uh, we might want to put in one more ride to get the guests. That might be something to do. Uh, I wonder what's, what's over this way. Oh, just a little dock. Okay. Cool. Uh, what else could we put in? Uh, we could get the teacups. Not really the most interesting ride, but... It's a ride. That's for sure. Okay, our end of month summary is pretty good. We got a nice little profit. 
Um, we actually have enough guests. I mean, at this point, and we're making a profit. At this point, we could probably just uh, kind of speed up time a bit and uh, get that gold. I wonder uh, if people are taking advantage of the long queue for this line. Oh, nice, nice. They're, that queue is actually almost full. Many guests are thirsty. Do we not have a drink shop? Drinks. Uh, we'll get the shipwrecks drink shop. Let's, uh... Okay, we will put it right here. And then we will make a path that leads directly to it. Nice. Okay, cool. The cosmic cow. Because that fits the pirate aesthetic. And there we go. Pirates battle. All stars, yes. We can afford to slow down a bit now. So that's all the stars. That's all the objectives for this map, guys. Uh, that was pretty easy. Also, look at the... Are all these people waiting to buy some drinks? Wow. Alright, well, anyways, guys. This has been the, uh, first... First career mode scenario. In, uh... In Planet Coaster. I hope you've enjoyed it thus far. Uh, if you have any feedback with the microphone or just how I'm playing the game, how terribly I'm doing it or something. Make sure to leave those that feedback, those comments and suggestions in the comments. But anyways guys, until next time, I've been CBCraft and I'll catch you in the next episode.